Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to use Dynamic Zoom in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now we are on the edit page and right here I have a static clip. So it's a clip took on a tripod, so it's very boring, there is no movement, uh, nothing going on. And I would like to basically uh, add a zoom in. You could just do it on your own by uh, going here to the inspector and keyframing a zoom in. That will be an option where you basically go at the beginning of your clip. Uh, right now you have a keyframe on zoom and then you go towards the end of your clip and then you add your zoom and that's basically how you will get uh, your zoom in. Uh, you could do it that way. That's one way to go about it. Another way to go about it is, let's restart everything, reset. Um, another way to go about it will be um, even easier is here down there. You can see we have dynamic zoom. You can just toggle that and here automatically for us, it will add a zoom in or a zoom out. So by default, it's a zoom out. If we play it right now, you can see it's zooming out. And what we can do is we can just hit swap and it will do the opposite. It will basically zoom inside the clip rather than uh, zooming outside the clip. And that's pretty much it. You can also uh, change from linear is in, is out, is in and is out. What it will do basically, it's linear will be at constant speed zooming in or uh, zooming out. Uh, is in, that will just go um, from slower uh, to faster. If we play it, see right now it's slow, slow, slow and it's getting a bit quicker towards the end. And is out will be the opposite. It will be fast at the beginning and slowing down step by step. And is it is out will basically be going slowly, a bit quicker, and going slowly again. And that's pretty much uh, how you use dynamic zoom. It's very simple, very easy, um, and you can just choose between doing dynamic zoom or keyframing your zoom yourself. Uh, you have those options, but dynamic zoom can be just a quick way to go about it. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment what kind of uh, tutorial you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.